so hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will see the sync system and the non sync system so let's start the video okay so this is one of the important concept in the biopharmaceutics that is the sync system and the non sync system or also called as the sync condition and the non sync condition so what happened uh, here okay so in case of the sink condition you may remember stomach okay so our stomach is nothing but the sink condition and in case of the non sink condition this is the dissolution apparatus okay so this dissolution apparatus is nothing but the non sink system or the non sink condition so in first of all we will uh, look into the non sink condition okay so this is the tablet okay so when the tablet is get, uh, going to dissolve okay so during the dissolution what happen the drug should be released from the tablet into this bulk solvent okay so this is the bulk solvent so whenever the tablet is going to dissolve it should be released the drug into the bulk of solvent okay and further the drug should be accumulate within this solvent okay because here is no uh, outcome okay so that the drug should be uh, goes from this uh, vessel into the outside okay so uh, whatever the solvent is there it should be within the vessel okay and because of that there is a accumulation of drug within this solvent okay and what happens due to this accumulation there is a saturation of solvent with the drug okay so because of this accumulation there is a saturation of the solvent with the drug okay and therefore the condition should be arises like the ct is equal to cb okay so what is meant by the ct and the cb so the ct is nothing but the concentration of drug in the tablet whereas the cb is nothing but the concentration of drug in the bulk solvent okay so the ct like the concentration of drug in this tablet it should be equal to the concentration of the drug in the bulk solvent means whatever the drug, uh, drug present in this tablet that should be released and comes into this solvent so it should be equal and therefore because of this saturation there is a no dissolution will be takes place okay so because of this saturation there is a no dissolution should be takes place whereas in case of the sink condition okay so stomach is nothing but the sink condition so here you can see this tablet okay so when the tablet should be taken by orally okay it should be come into the stomach right and then the tablet should get dissolved okay and whatever the drug should be released into this gi fluid okay so that drug which is enters in the gi fluid okay it should be absorbed through this gi lines okay gi cell lines okay so whatever the drug should be released from the tablet it should be absorbed from the gi lines and it can be enters into the systemic circulation that is blood okay the drug should be simultaneously enters into the blood so because of there is a solvent never become saturated with the drug okay as the drug should be enters from this gastric fluid into the blood the solvent never become saturated with the drug okay and here the ct is not equal to cb okay and therefore the dissolution will be takes place continuously so in case of the stomach the dissolution should be takes place continuously whereas in case of the non sink condition like this dissolution apparatus the dissolution should be not further takes place once the solvent should be saturated with the drug okay so this is the basic concept like the sink condition and the non sink condition so from this figure you can get the clear idea regarding the sink condition so here you can see this is the solid drug particle or you can consider this is the tablet and this is the bulk of solution with the concentration cb like the bulk concentration so what happen is that the solid drug particle should be diffuses from this stagnant layer into the bulk of solution okay and immediately what happen is that this uh, whatever the drug should be released from this uh, stagnant layer into this bulk of solution it should be crosses the gi barrier okay so immediately it can crosses the gi barrier into the blood like the systemic circulation so the drug should not be accumulate into this bulk of solvent okay so whatever the drug should be released it should not be accumulate here 
immediately it can be crosses this GI barrier into the systemic circulation. So this is the sink condition. So if you want the sink condition, okay, if you want the sink condition in the dissolution apparatus, so you can just modify the dissolution apparatus. Okay, so here you can see he I'll just add the everted rat intestine. Okay, so just the everted rat intestine should be added here in dissolution apparatus in order to get the sink condition. So what happened here? Whatever the drug should be released from this tablet into this solvent. Okay, so whatever the drug should be released, it can be absorbed by this everted rat intestine. Okay, as you know that the intestinal cell should be absorbed the drug. Okay, so whatever the drug should be released here into this solvent. Okay, that should be absorbed from this intestine. Okay, and and here in this tube you can measure the what is the amount of absorbed drug okay so whatever the drug should be absorbed through this intestine you can measure here and from here how much amount of drug should be released okay so here the release is drug and here from this this is the absorbed drug so this is the non sink condition whereas when you added the everted right intestine this is the sink condition so in sink and the non sink condition there is a difference in the dissolution rate okay so this is very important graph okay on x axis time is there and on y axis concentration of dissolved drug so in case of the sink condition the sink condition under the zero order dissolution so here you can get the straight line means in case of the sink condition the dissolution should be continuous the dissolution never be stopped in the sink condition because the bulk solvent never gets saturated with the drug in case of the sink condition but in case of the non sink condition the non sink condition under first order dissolution here what happened at the start the dissolution is there okay but once the point should be come so here you can see this curve okay so at this point the bulk solvent gets saturated with the drug okay and because of the saturation of the solvent with the drug there is no further dissolution should be takes place okay so once the solvent is get saturated with the drug there is no dissolution takes place under this non sink condition so in order to obtain the good in vitro in vivo dissolution rate correlation shift the in vitro dissolution must always be carried out under the sink condition so here i give the different approaches for to obtain the sink condition in in vitro dissolution so the first approach is bathing the dissolving solid in a fresh solvent from time to time so what happen if we bathing the dissolving solid in the fresh solvent there is a no saturation should be takes place as we can use the fresh solvent for the dissolving solid then the second approach is that we can increasing the volume of dissolution fluid okay so because of increasing the volume of dissolution fluid again saturation should not be obtained and the third approach is removing the dissolved drug by partitioning okay so partitioning by partitioning we can remove the dissolved drug from the aqueous phase of the dissolution fluid into the organic phase then the fourth approach is that we can add a water miscible solvent okay such as alcohol to the dissolution fluid and the fifth approach is by adding the selected adsorbent to remove the dissolved drug okay so we can select the particular adsorbent and by using this adsorbent we can remove the dissolved drug and the a uh, important statement so this is the very important statement exam point of view like the in vitro sink condition okay so in vitro sink condition are so maintained that the bulk concentration like the cb okay cb is nothing but the bulk concentration should be always less than 10% than the saturation concentration okay so in order to obtain the vitro sink condition the bulk concentration should be always less than 10% of saturated concentration so okay so hope okay, guys you can get the idea regarding the sink and non sink condition okay 
so that's it for today see you guys in the next video and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends okay so bye guys